Hello, dear students. Let's see this question number 3.9 of Hirado. The question states, a thin wire ring of radius R carries a charge Q. Find the magnitude of the electric field strength on the axis of the ring as a function of distance L from its center. Investigate the obtained function at L much, much larger than the small r. Find the maximum strength magnitude and the corresponding distance L. Draw the approximate plot of the function EL. So once again, this is a very standard uh, problem whose result we directly use at the ITJ level. So here the question has come. So basically we have to uh, derive those results that we use otherwise directly. So uh, here is the diagram of the problem. This is a ring of uh, having total uniformly distributed charge Q. Its radius is uh, R. This is R and uh, O is the center and at a distance L from the center. At an axial point, say this point is P, we have to find the electric field. So what we can take, we can take a little element of charge, the little element of charge we can take here, a DQ charge we can take. And uh, because of that DQ, we want to find the electric field at P. So if I make a line from DQ to P, and that line is this, and is this distance is R. And once, uh, if you uh, think it clearly in 3D, the plane of uh, this, this is a ring, and this ring plane is perpendicular to the plane of the screen. So obviously this angle is 90 degree, and this R is, L square plus X square square root. So electric field because of the charge DQ will be uh, DE like this. And magnitude of this electric field DE will obviously be K uh, DQ divided by distance square that is R square. And suppose this angle is theta. So obviously uh, cos theta, you can look from this diagram, cos theta, you can see that is equal to uh, L by small r. So there are two components of this DE. This component is uh, DE cos theta. And this component is DE sin theta. And as uh, we take all elements on the periphery of the ring, so due to all elements, what will happen? The, this D cos theta component will get add up and uh, D E sin theta will component will get canceled. So the net electric field will be along the axis away from the center and that should be the integration of D E cos theta. So uh, D E net on the axis is nothing but the summation of all the D E cos theta so d e cos theta if we add up so what we are going to get uh, let me put the values of d e here so d e is a k by r square d q and let me put cos theta here and this d q and we have to take a limit such that the whole ring should be covered because of the distribution being uniform only then d e sin theta is getting cancelled but even if the distribution is not uniform, the component along x direction would be the same. So uh, here in this integration, I'm not requiring the distribution to be uniform or non-uniform because all these terms are constant. All the terms, all the elements of charge dq have the same distance small r. And all such white line would be making the same angle theta from the axis. So this is a constant and this overall integration will be uh, k cos theta by r square and integration of dq is simply the total charge. So if you put in the Erdo's notation, Erdo, in the Erdo we don't write, don't see k written. So I'll write the overall value of k that is a 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught and q is q obviously. Cos theta is uh, L by R and the denominator there is R square. So that will be L 
divide by r cube and r cube we can write uh, l square plus x square power 3 by 2. So this is the e net and this e net is along x direction or or in other words uh, along the axial direction. So uh, we have to investigate the obtained result as at L much, much larger than R. So let's go to the next page. So E is a QL divided by 4 pi epsilon naught L square plus small r square divided by 3 by 2. And without any approximation, we can simply say that if this uh, L is much, much larger than R. So basically we are on the axis and looking the ring far away from the center, then the ring would be appearing as a point chart. So the, the electric field at the point will be simply the KQ by L square. And that is an obvious uh, result. And if we uh, approximate also, so if L is uh, much, much larger than R, so obviously this R square term can be neglected. So we can write that will come out to be Q by, this thing will become LQ and there is one L. So Q upon four pi epsilon naught L square. And then uh, at what L electric field is maximum? So E is maximum on at an axial point where uh, DE by DL is zero. So if you differentiate and simplify, you will simply get L is equal to plus minus R by root two. And these are the points where the electric field magnitude is maximum. And uh, if you put these, uh, this L is equal to plus minus R root two on this equation. So we will get value of E max equal to Q upon six root three pi epsilon naught r square. And this simple thing you can, uh, why I'm writing this thing, uh, those who are watching the this Erodo solution, obviously they must be uh, knowing the how to do the differentiation. But uh, that process is not important. What is important that this is a very important result. You should remember this result. And this result is also not important because if you know this result, you can immediately uh, put into this formula, you can get this result also. So this result is very important. Now having got the uh, value of L where the electric field is maximum plus minus R by root two, we can make a plot of uh, variation of electric field on the axis. So let's come back to this picture and I'll draw the electric field just below here. Here, this is the electric field and this is the axis. And while plotting, I'll take care of the direction also. This is L. Uh, obviously, if I take the right side direction positive, so at this point, this is the center of the this ring, obviously electric field will be zero. And at this point, L is zero. So here, if I put L is equal to zero, E net will be zero and that is fine. So as I'm going here, the electric field is away. First, it will increase and then decrease. And if I go on this side, the electric field will be on this direction. First, it will increase, then decrease. So if I take this direction positive, so electric field on this side will be positive. Electric field on this side will be negative. So keeping all these things in mind, uh, we can plot the variation of electric field with L. So that variation will come out to be something like this. And this is the L is equal to R by root two. And on this side, the mirror image, the reverse mirror image, there is an anti-symmetric like this. And this is L is equal to minus R by root two. And this is how the variation of electric field line will look like with L. Thank you.